to know in terms of python you need to be very strong with numpy and uh, resign from ibm the reason i resigned is i was not satisfied with the work profile that uh, i was assigned the bell icon hello guys welcome back to techno job today i am back with a fresh interview on how to get a data analytics internship and job in a top mnc company today we have with us a vit post graduate final year student who has prior work experience in ibm currently working in data science team of power school power school is us most used learning management system one of his recent achievement is that he cleared TCS and QT with a score of 57 out of 60 in programming and was in the list of NQT toppers so without further ado i will ask some interesting question to him hey sayan welcome to our channel techno job thank you thank you for calling me for a discussion on your channel i've been following techno job for quite some time you guys are updating job updates on a regular basis thank you we are most welcome so what is your first proud moment that you felt in a very early age okay if you talk about proud moment i would say definitely it would be in terms of career i would say uh, like getting the job in ibm after my graduation uh, in btech i was a very uh, mediocre student i maybe i can say below mediocre level so i never thought i could achieve that level Uh, like i shouldn't uh, be saying like it's a uh, sort of dream job or something like that but uh, a, brand, a branded company which has revolutionary achievements in the field of technology and getting starting your job starting your career with that brand name is a big thing i felt at that time so that is what i can say a uh, proud moment in my career No doubt IBM is a great company to work in but why did you leave the job as IBM is one of the top MNC company for which many undergraduates dream of and also let us know about how to get data analytics internship and job let us know your experience on this okay so let me tell a brief about myself so after uh, i uh resigned from IBM the reason i resigned is i was not satisfied with the work profile that uh, i was assigned to other 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 than that IBM is fine it's great company to work in and i also wanted to do higher studies i always wanted to do higher studies but uh, my preparation level in btech was not decent enough so when in, when i was in my final year i studied for uh, prepared for gate studied for it but couldn't clear that year uh, that year i joined job and later i designed and since i'm more interested in the mathematical aspects of computer science so i decided to choose either data science or machine learning like they are both related in vit we have both the options both separate streams i chose uh, data analytics so uh, one good thing i would uh, like to mention about the vit's curriculum is that the entire curriculum was designed mostly based on data analytics all subjects which are currently in trend like data analytics is such a field like it is expanding every a few days every few months some new library some python library is coming some r library is being published and that needs to be used on a daily basis so you need to be updated about the latest technology the curriculum in vit was designed like that so that helped me a lot so if you uh, want to ask how one should prepare for being a data an, uh, data analyst so i should say uh, two languages you need to be very strong in is python and r so strong in the sense like not all the programming concepts of python the like you don't need to be very strong with greedy concept greedy or dynamic programming or maybe c but you should know at least the basic logics and syntax of python so in terms of data analytics r is very good because uh, uh, all the statistics and all these things what data science is actually statistics so all the statistics packages are actually uh, was actually first built in r and lot of python programmers learned those concepts from r and then built these libraries in python 
that's why python is in more use today but when statistics and machine learning came into being few years ago then r was the most used for data science so in terms of that i would say python and uh, also you need to know some basics of sql which you would need to fetch the data from the database so along with python and r i would say sql also now can you please tell us on how did you get your admission done in vit velour okay so honestly speaking i'd be very honest i always wanted to study in iits i prepared for gate i wanted to be in iits so when i didn't uh, score good in iit i was quite disappointed yeah, so uh, and then i prepared for other entrance exams and uh, i got a uh, ch chance in vit and a couple of other colleges i decided to go for vit because i um, uh, got the stream of my choice which is data analytics which was not there in other colleges which i opted for and other reason is i got to know from a lot of seniors that vit has a good business a, a good industry collaboration with lot of companies so in terms of placements it, it is one of the finest i can say if if i even if i don't say finest in amongst private colleges and recently uh, the government of india has uh, given the institute of eminence award to it so now it has come i can i can say in in the top 10 to 15 colleges so in terms of placements in this year you can understand the situation because of the pandemic and everything the recession it has badly hit the job market but if you see the placement statistics of vit it is one of the finest yeah actually that was that was my next question like on going this uh, pandemic duration you got internship in our school so can you briefly say about your experience while you are getting recruited in power school pretty yes yes sure sure so in my course uh, throughout my course i have always wanted to get into data analytics uh through our college there were uh, um, opportunities to apply for as software development uh, engineers in other top companies uh, almost all of the top companies visited vit Uh, but i wanted to uh, get into the analytics field so i had prepared my cv uh, in that manner so if you ask me uh, what specifics we would need to um, know to get into a data analytics job because a lot of students from non it related streams are also getting into analytics these days you know in terms of python you need to be very strong with numpy and pandas libraries these two libraries you need to be very strong at other than that you can do uh, you need to also know thoroughly sql learn library so in sql learn you will find all the classification and regression algorithms defined within it uh, other than that there will be a couple of libraries for data visualization for example matplotlib cborn which uh, you can easily learn those are very easy to learn Uh, and yes and this should this should be the main uh, libraries you should focus on you should be strong at this uh, other than that uh, if you know r that's very good r you will learn al along with your course when you are preparing for data science r will be a part of it uh, sql and uh, one uh, data visualization um, software if you know that would be very good either power bi or tableau that was all technical part of your uh, getting recruited for this internship right so now i yes, would yes yes quickly yes. switch to selection process of this internship like you are offered in okay, power okay. school so what was the selection process <clears throat> held by a vit team or maybe the placement team okay so for any kind of job or internship you would uh, usually have to go through an aptitude round same here as well uh, this exam was a bit different from the regular aptitude of mnc companies this was named as ccat uh, followed by one uh, coding round so in coding round if you want to get into analytics you don't have to be very strong in the grid or dynamic aspects as i said previously so you need to know the mathematical aspects the pandas numpy libraries so i was asked to do a small project in data science and along with it there were a lot of questions so those questions covered all the concepts of data science uh, be it classification cleaning the data preparing the data in order to apply different kinds of algorithms on top of it and and in the interview also these are the topics which were tested i was never asked about anything regarding front end or back end even if i don't know that it is not a big issue if you want to work in analytics you should be good with analytics
that is really good thing about a company which only focus on a, a specific area right so now my next question would be of being a data analyst analyst what do you do in a company like what would be your major job role can you briefly explain about that okay okay uh, yeah sure so uh, people usually think that the data analyst uh, goes on around uh, researching about different techniques and topics and implementing and doing analytics but the main part of a data analyst is to understand the data you need to understand what kind of data you need to fetch from the database and depending on the business requirement you would have to arrange the data in such a manner usually you will not get the data in a very clean manner we usually say noisy data or non clean data so you have to learn to clean the data in such a manner so that you can apply different kinds of uh, machine learning algorithms on top of it so that would be the first criteria you you need to focus on that it is your responsibility on this so most of the time would be spent on cleaning the data in order to arrange it in such a format so that you can apply different algorithms on top of it you can start learning sql sql is easy to understand i can suggest one course in coursera which is uh, university of california and uh, they have a course for sql for data science there would be a very good course for beginners you can it is taught from the basics also for machine learning you can do one course uh, in coursera it is by ibm that is also a very good course so these are the couple of courses i can suggest <clears throat> you start with these courses and you will gradually figure out what you need to do what you need to learn what is your take on social media and how do you think a freezer can benefit from linkedin please let us know about that and also your views upon this uh that that's a good question so social media can influence you in very good ways and you should make proper use of social media of course you should uh, use it to stay connected with your friends uh share your regular updates that's fine but you can uh, properly utilize social media to do online business you can use social media to get a job you can so use social media to increase your network for example i started uh being active on linkedin uh, since 2016 uh, since that was the time i joined ibm so at that time i used to be active but i uh, like i used to scroll through linkedin but not active in the sense i did not participate in discussions or such but uh, recently during my masters i used to participate in lot of discussions i got to know about a lot of hackathons various company events also i got to network with a lot of people from vit there are a lot of seniors in vit who are in good positions and very good that's really great so can you recommend some of the website or maybe youtube channel for job notification as well like we also provide job notification also in technosop so can you recommend some other yes yes yeah uh yes so techno job is one you can definitely follow they are updating on a regular basis whenever there is a new recruitment uh they are updating uh, also i can recommend you fast prep and prep insta they also have very amazing tutorials uh, their tutorials are designed in such a way so that you can it is the exact question uh, pattern they have designed in those question patterns and they are also regularly updating their questions based on the questions which are being asked by various companies during the exams so i would uh, recommend the fast prep and prep insta if you want if you want to reveal your salary that you are offered in internship now and if converted what would be your salary in job also okay so uh, i'm uh, bound by my company not to reveal the salary details as it is supposed to be confidential but i can okay. give you an idea about what uh, the salary structure is for data analyst as an intern you can expect to get uh, anywhere between uh, 25 to 50k top companies would offer you 50k and on conversion you can, uh, the salary range would start from 6 and can range up to 14 to 15 so it depends on the company and uh, depends on how you are hired what advice do you like to give on freshers if you have any tips please uh, uh, go with that my recommendation uh, or advice to freshers would be uh, you should have a uh, good projects on your cv you should not add certifications because what i most see is students in final year uh, doing some certificate from some institute or somewhere else they're doing uh, some uh, online uh, course on microsoft and claiming that they have a microsoft certificate so 
whoever is interviewing you they know that this is that is not a valid microsoft certificate you didn't have to clear any proctored exam in order to achieve that certificate you but i have attended one workshop conducted by microsoft and they gave certificates but suppose i i see a lot of people uh, writing on uh, telegram looking for uh, uh, projects in their final year they say i am willing to pay for projects please give me projects and those projects they are adding in the cv so if you need to understand one thing you should not add any branded certificates on your cv which you have not really covered you should know whatever it is written on your cv and you should not write more than what you know on your cv even if you know less that is fine in my btech i knew very less so in terms of programming languages i wrote c only and in terms of technical subjects i think as far as i remember i wrote uh, database uh, operating systems uh these two maybe networks i don't remember so even if you have less on your cv that's fine but you should not write something which you are not aware of that will be creating a very bad impression on the interviewer this is really really motivating you answered all our queries very satisfactory i'm sure you guys also must be very clear about the career path on becoming a data analyst now how many of you are interested to pursue a career in data analytics comment below if you want to connect to cyan i will link his handle in description and i hope this interview has helped you learn something new today if you have watched it till now please hit the like button and also let us know if you missed any questions i thank you all a lot for watching till the end and also subscribe and press the bell icon if you are new to our channel and see you in another interview video thank you